The Ohio River didn't create problems in East Liverpool over the weekend, but all the rain did wash out another road. I was there this afternoon and found out the plan is to vacate the road because it'll cost too much to fix it for the few people who use it. The water issues in East Liverpool are top story at 10. This is what East Liverpool's Penn Avenue extension looked like about a week ago. Today, as a result of recent heavy rain that created a landslide, a 50-yard section of the asphalt road could be seen pushed down the hill, forcing the city to close the road. A hillside above a road slipped from the township and pushed a city road uh, over the hill. A young man walking through the debris declined an on-camera interview but told me the hill started giving way two weeks ago and then late last week started taking the road with it. Last night, the entire road gave way. City officials met with a Liverpool Township trustee today, and the decision was made not to repair it. There's only two houses that are really right close to the slip. Uh, they both can access their home from different sides of the road. To fix it would cost a lot of money, wouldn't it? It's a, it would be a big dollar amount for sure. East Liverpool's most pressing concern the past few days was the threat of flooding along the Ohio River. And though it never flooded, the river is high. Now you'll see the mud. You'll see how far up the wooden wall it's come up. Sis Howard has been hanging around the river for 60 years. At one point, the bottom end of the wharf, she said, was underwater. You could see the dried mud on the two boards above the floor. The yellow stakes with chains are usually dry. The water up about 15 feet from normal. You worry about other people on down. It's got more water than what we do. More rain is expected on Thursday. But right now, it's not looking as though it's going to be nowhere near as bad. And we've got some time to dry out between now and then. The one young man I talked with along Penn Avenue extension was concerned about the decision not to fix the road. He questioned if there's enough road for fire trucks to gain access to the neighborhood. Service Safety Director Brian Allen told me they have tested it and can get a fire truck through the neighborhood.